It is time we test our knowledge with our daily trivia treat. Today's trivia question is sponsored by our friends over at Brick Oven Bakery. And the question is, what was the name of the wheeled vehicle pulled by horses in ancient Rome? Was it a tram, a bus, a tractor, or a char chariot? Your chariot awaits. <laughs> Your chariot awaits. <laughs> Um, pretty sure it's chariot, although a tractor just kind of sounds funny. Yeah. A tram. A, a bus. That's yeah. <laughs> uh, we're thinking it's chariot, yes. right, guys? Yes. 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 Okay, how about Sandy Jacobson with Brick Oven Bakery? What do you think, Sandy? It's definitely chariot. Okay. Yeah. That one a was tram. pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> like, that's some, who comes up with all the answers? Like, <laughs> let's put tractor in there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> tractor. That'll be funny. That'll throw them off. <laughs> all right. Uh, they're North uh, Dakota. Uh, yeah, like right, that. exactly. Okay, but a lot on the line today. We might have to split this yeah, one. Yeah, you might have to split this one. So this is our twice-baked almond croissant, or just almond croissant. Um, so I'm going to teach you something today. Ooh, yes. Okay, so these danishes and croissants, they take about three days to make. So basically what we're doing is one day we're making the croissant dough. We're putting it into the um, freezer or fridge to let it cool. And then we're taking it out and we're putting it on a pan and, and putting it, you know, making it big on the pan. Then we're putting it back in the fridge. Then we're going to take it out and then we're going to sheet it and make it um, a certain length. And then we're going to lock in butter. So we take these sheets of butter and put them on and fold it over and put it um, through the sheeter, back in the fridge. It has to sit in there for a while and cool, and, and then back out and sheet again. So this is why, <laughs> I have a moral to this story. So this is why we don't always have twice-baked almonds. It's like one of our po most popular things, and a lot of people are like, why don't you just make more? And we use butter croissants that are left over from the day before to make these. And since we do sandwiches on our butter croissants also, you know, we don't always have a lot of them left over. And so it's not something we can just like grab and throw in. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's not always a lot of them, but we really try to up the production and, and really get some out there. So, but yeah, they're, they're the best. They are the best. Yeah. Uh, we've had these before, and I have to say, a lot of love and care, <laughs> yeah. heating and cooling, yes. replating. So and much. Yeah, Waiting. I mean, I'm like, that's so a lot. much. <laughs> yes, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot of work. So this has a frangipan inside. It's a vanilla and almond pastry cream on the inside. We pulverize the almonds. We don't buy the frangipan. We actually make it fresh in the bakery. So. So yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot of work, but that's why it's good. It's why it's delicious. Yeah. It like melts in your mouth. It does. Well, Take now I'm mad I have to split it three ways. <laughs> I just want it all to myself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but Sandy, yeah. you have a lot of great things going yeah. on at Brick Oven. Mm -hmm. I actually got to see you at yeah, Bismarcket over we were the at weekend. This market. Yeah, so we'll be there again this weekend. Come out and last weekend it was so nice mm -hmm. out. It was just, We had such a great time. So many people came in and it was a really big market. So if you haven't been to Bismarcket, you need to come down. It's by the Lark's Baseball, definitely come and check that out. And you guys yeah. have coffee. I yeah, we got coffee, rolls. we got cold brew, we've got monkey bread, oh, croissants, so we do some ham and cheese and, and other things. Um, a lot of people will be like, why didn't you bring the fresh fruit Danish or something mm. like that? And unfortunately, that just doesn't hold well in the heat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't bring those, we bring the things that, you know, can work outside. But well, and yeah. that's what's different is you don't have stuff on command just no. every day. It's almost makes yes. it more special when you're looking yes. for your favorite thing, and like the almond. Yeah, croissant. and that's why sometimes we run out and sometimes we have extra. So it's really hard to gauge like how many you're going to sell that day. Like I'll think, okay, today's a slow day. We're not going to maybe sell a lot. So don't put a bunch in for tomorrow if it's going to rain. And, uh, and then somebody will come in and buy, you know, 25 or something. It's like, dang it, <laughs> which is okay. It's okay. Right. Do it. It's do okay. it. It's okay. Just the other people are Just, like, yeah. oh, darn uh, it. I'm yeah. missing out on yeah. that. Yeah, it's but. crazy how much the weather affects our business, too. So we're always, always checking in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. stop by Brick Oven yes. Bakery. Come and Sandy, see us. thank you so much for being You're with welcome. us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And again, Brick Oven Bakery is located at 112 North 4th Street in Bismarck.